What's up guys, King in the North here, back with some more. The Binding of Isaac, Repentance. Today we head into a hard mode, Mother Run, with Eve. Ignore the minus 11. I've been trying lost attempts. But, starting off here in Cellar. Not a bad floor. Hopefully uh, we can get through here without too much... Too much damage happening to us. Maybe a couple good items. Nickel's nice, as long as it's not sticky. Right. Wow, what a room. I want to thank everybody for supporting the channel up to this point. It means a lot. I appreciate it. Always fun getting on here, reading some comments after working all day. Much appreciated. I apologize. Isaac content has been a little bit slower. Went hard when Repentance first dropped, and then uh, slowly uh, trailed off, obviously. Yeah, Mom's Razor. <clears throat> I think we're doing like four videos a day, and kind of trickled down to almost like one a day now. Uh, it's just been playing a lot of Isaac. There's a lot of other games out there. Also getting down to like the nitty gritty in terms of unlocks so some of the characters are, are a little bit more complicated to get through taking a couple of attempts obviously uh, we'll get there resident evil 8 is finished all uploaded i have videos releasing for that every day i think that's going to be until like almost the end of the month and then uh, looking into some other games play i still got to finish returnal uh, I'm gonna keep plugging away at Isaac when I get a chance. We have one bomb. I think I'm gonna save it. Who are bosses? Oh my god. So we're gonna get a second orbital here. Oh, almost ran into that shot. I think I'm gonna- yeah, I'm just gonna have to do the Razor, because this is, uh... This is gonna get out of control really fast on me. I gotta watch out for the shots. He should be falling off that horse soon. Or whatever that is. I think it's a- looks like a horse. Obviously, he's a horseman, but... His face is gone. So we get ball bandages here. I kind of want to find the secret room if possible. I only have one bomb, so it's not like I'd be able to get two. Uh, so that was a waste. We'll put out the other fire in hopes for a coin. We'll take the soul heart. Pheromones. There's another heart over here we can pop off. And we'll head on down to the next floor. Also want to thank everybody who showed up for the contest that Poppy and I did. We did a little bit of an Isaac contest. We Something we've been working on for a little while. Still working on making it uh, better with scoring. Uh, next time we're thinking we might do more like a race type setting. So this way, if somebody dies, they're able to get back in and just kind of like restart. Right now it is it is a little punishing if you die like it's, it's basically over. Get a revolve machine here. Oh, just a bunch of worms. All right, almost got him. There we go. We'll pick this up. Leave it there for now. Uh, that's half a red heart. Yeah, it's something we're still working on. I'd like to try and expand on it in the future if we get more people to do like more of like a bracket light contest. Be kind of cool, I think. Wouldn't mind doing that and making it like uh, maybe like a monthly event or something. But Poppy and I are also 
thinking of ways of just like branching out from it as well and just maybe like doing like a, what we're considering like a consider like a, a gauntlet of various games that we have to get through obviously more like roguelite so it's not like a game that's like a 12 hour game that we have to run through with another game but it just seems like a way to mix things up and create a little bit of competition for entertainment not a bad idea I in some hearts on this floor, it's good to see, but... Oh, we don't have many hearts, so it's not even like I could sacrifice... ...in a sacrifice room, I don't think. I don't think there's enough hearts on the ground for that. And we still have half a soul heart, so let's do the boss and see if we can... ...secure the devil deal. Hopefully this guy blows himself up. We know he can't burn himself to death because there are no fires in the room. Okay, that was a weird connection there with the shot, but I'm glad I had something there to absorb that hit. This is bad, man. I don't want to use the razor, just because I don't want to lose the heart, but this guy is not going to blow himself up, so. I need some orbital damage in there. He's obviously making this very difficult for me by going on opposite ends of the room. Now he's got like timing down to where I can't like line the orbitals up. Oh, and now he's rapid firing these things. What a jerk. Alright, he's dead. I just need to grab this. Let's leave the soul heart there for now. Range. Awesome. Love range. There's some hearts on the ground, which is nice to see. We run into a sacrifice room, like I said. I, I don't know if what we're really gonna get out of it, but it might be worth trying. Especially with the bone heart here. I can probably get away with you can you get a bone heart. I don't take too much damage in these rooms. I really would like for this to go away. Orbitals here to our advantage because all of our offensive stats are pretty damn weak right now. Obviously, we, we need to be relying on the Horror Babylon, but... I'll probably die if I do that. Okay, we don't have flight. So, secret room could be here. Or up top. Was an enemy spawned there, so I don't think it could be there. Not good. It could also be on the outside of the shop. No, it can't. Alright, so I really don't want to mess with this too much then. Is there a soul heart in here? There is. So we're going to need to protect stuff as much as possible. Let's grab this bone heart. Fill this with a heart. Fill up our half red heart. And then pick up the soul heart and we're good to go. Actually, I should have picked up the Soul Heart or whatever. It's been a long day. It's been a long day. Let's head on, Dale. Also had a, a couple people leave comments in regards to... You don't need to spend the key to get this. In regards to ads popping up. And I want to thank you guys for putting that out. Uh, long story short... AdSense, not AdSense, YouTube Studios, the YouTube program that you use to upload your videos, uh, has been having issues lately. It's not been like saving options for some videos, and that goes with the ads selection options as well that they have you do. 
So the videos, the ads that we try to roll should be a an ad that rolls at the very beginning and the very end of the video. Nothing more. So if you guys are seeing the banners pop up, let me know because the banners are just supposed to be a placeholder. So when it finishes uploading, it doesn't do a whole bunch of mid video advertisements because I can't watch the computer all day. I have to go to work. So thanks for letting me know. Shouldn't be any more than those two ad rolls popping. And a couple of people have been really supportive and saying like, oh, you got to make your cut and stuff like that. And I appreciate that. That's nice. At the end of the day, I hand in myself. We, we have full time jobs. This this is just a hobby for us. So, uh, you know, we, we enjoy putting stuff out there and, and seeing people's comments and stuff. It, it's fun. Uh, not something that we're we're relying on or anything. And even if even if it was something we were trying to do, um, I'm not really, like I said, I'm not really trying to push Charmin's toilet paper for the teddy bears. They can do that. That's their job. But um, even if that's what I was trying to do, uh, since it's a hobby, the government is going to take most of it away anyway. So there's that. Yeah, if, if something's not seeming right, feel free to call it out in the comments. No shame. Shame in that. All right, so getting surrounded by spiders here. All right, eye out. We don't have any charges on our space bar. We have the razor, so that thing's not going to bother us. I'm hoping we get wormwood here. I have to make sure I have enough bombs for the door, though. All right, so we got wormwood. Oh my god. That half. Run into a hole, now we can do some running. Which is not as good in, with this floor layout. With the, uh, You know, it's better to have flight here. Most of the floor is a hole, so this kind of sucks. Obviously, this will be better and easier to do as our lost version. As soon as this guy decides that he wants to stop chasing us. There we go. So we're going to get a little bit of a tears up here. No angel deal, sadly. Let's check out the big room up here. Maybe get something decent. Also, we have our item room that I completely forgot. We still need to get. Right. These guys, can I trigger your knots? All right. Let's go. One more exploding head. There we go. Pop these poos. Maybe get a coin or something. This seems to be a much larger downpour floor. Usually they're quite small. All right, so we're just filled with orbitals now. And you know what, Sack Dagger, um, I'm thrilled about. The other two, on the other hand, I could care less. That's our mirror, I'm gonna do that. Absolutely. Let's find our white fire. We're gonna make sure we go pick up those bombs. We fire in this room. No, it's back a little bit more. Completely lost. I feel like they should mark the white fire on the map. Although, I, if they did that, I'd probably always get first little lost. Secret room could be here. Uh, hopefully, we get some bombs on the other side. That would make life a little bit easier, right? Let's take advantage of the spectral tears here and just shoot over the rocks. They don't all... Oh, not what I was hoping for. We're going to have to be really careful on this side because I don't want these guys getting out. I 
Obviously, damage is really low as, as Eve, just because you, know, you should be using the Horror Babylon. But, um, we can get through this, right? Some nice coins here from these poos, which is a relief considering um, it covers up for the shit fetish that we have. Justifies us. So we got a little bit of a hike here to the boss now. We got we got the most important thing, and that's the knife piece handle. Can't seem to get an angle on this at all. The spider. Spider's dead. Hey. Head to the right. Popped him. The floor is just is filled with exploding enemies. So much on it. Every enemy has a surprise in them that some of us wish we couldn't see. Or couldn't see. Though, I, I don't think... I didn't see any bombs, which is unfortunate because I would like to use a bomb in this fight, and I mean, I could. Let's... I might do it. Oh my god, he spawned right here. Alright, so I used the bomb, as you can see. Might not have been a good idea. We have to we have to have two bombs in order to get into mine, so I, I might have to skip. I might have to take the risk and skip mines or ash pit one. Uh, and hope that we don't get a curse of the XL on the next floor. That would be really unfortunate. Although I don't think that can happen, can it? It might be able to happen. I'm not sure. I think they offset one. I have no idea. All I know is repentance can be overly punishing at times, so I'm assuming that we could get a curse of the XL because actually technically this should have been Caves 1, right? Alright, so we get a, d a damage up here. I gotta stop looking out loud. It's been a long day. I don't want to, I really don't want to risk it. It's not worth it in my opinion. We could just drop down without a bomb. We could also go in the shop. We have money to do that, don't we? And we would have enough keys for an explorer still. All right. So, we're uh, gonna head on down. Caves too. All right, yeah. So I, I don't think that this can be an XL floor, but uh, I, I, I could be wrong. Right. Kill this guy. This room is more of a hassle than it should be. Dagger to the face. All right, we got two bombs. We need to hold on to the two bombs. We cannot spend them. We need them for the next war to get into the next Or uh, we're gonna have to redo this whole thing. Which, you know what? I don't even know if that would be a bad idea. Because, you know, it's not that... It's not that Ball of Bandages is bad or anything. But once you have Sack Dagger, you don't need Ball of Bandages. And you certainly don't need Mom's Razor. Okay. Seems cruel, but I guess fair. <clears throat> okay, Sack Dagger. I'm pretty sure you should have killed that mushroom. Alright. Gotta be careful here. We do need to try to get a deal on this floor. 67% chance it's it's more if I can get into a room and bomb a keeper or something but like I said we got to make sure we have enough bombs to do that 
I thought this claw thing was supposed to do more damage. It doesn't seem to be doing anything except making a different graphic appear up on the screen. God, dumb. How did I do? <laughs> I guess the room timed out. It was like, just let this guy out. <laughs> just let this guy go. He's already measured. Oh my. So we have plenty of contact damage going up right now. Okay, so we lost the bone heart. Things are going extraordinarily well on this floor. Would it hurt for me to get a damage? Let's check out the boss. Oh my god. Come on, Sack Dagger. Bring us a victory. We have half a soul heart here. I gotta be careful. Jump for the nubs. Nubs don't do contact damage, fortunately. Make the Orbos do all the work for us. Right. Awesome. We got we got the greatest item in the game. Dad's lost coin. Let's hear it for Dad's lost coin. It's no longer lost. It's found. Which is not that exciting. Uh, let's get some red hearts going here, because this is not good. Right? We have three bombs. I can't believe I couldn't blow that up. My tears are too weak for barrels now. Okay, come on. Sad Larry. Alright, so we got a half a soul heart. It's gonna give us a whole full heart now. <laughs> Yikes. Alright, so we have eight cents steam sales in here. Some would say uh, that's a decent get, while others would say, hey, it's probably a little too late to get that nail. And uh, those people will probably end up being right, because I'll probably get two greed fights back to back, and then a terrible repentance shop of one normal heart and a sack. That's probably what I'm going to get in that last shop. But... Let's see what's in the item room, because obviously we're going to get a great item here. Hopefully not another orbital. Great item that's not a... Alright. So, I'm going to hold on to the prayer card, or... The card, because uh, we need to start generating some red hearts here, especially if we're going to have to start... Relying on double deals bail us out. There's a battery back here. We can use that real quick. Or I can try to puff out two more full rooms. Floors. Alright, we can do this. got stuck. Felt like I had a hit coming, so I didn't try to do anything. That... We do have enough bombs to try this and pray that we get an item out of this chest. Alright. Uh, hopefully we come across the key. Gotta love the chest within the chest. You know what they say, the mystery box could be anything. It could even be another box. God. Oh my god. Close! It was close. It's close. Need to knock this guy's head off his shoulders. There we go. Alright, 
we're going to use this. And then we'll grab that battery and probably just head down or see if I could buy a key, I guess, because I would like to get that chest open if possible. Please be a Perthro room. All right, not what I was hoping for. Did that. We still have two bombs. All right, we do have a key. This chest is, is going to be worth it, I'm telling you. This is going to be it. This is going to be good for us. All this work, a chest within a chest uh, for us to spend two keys, it couldn't possibly be bad. All right. It wasn't bad, but uh, it also wasn't uh, good. Let's be completely honest with each other. I need this. Need more options, because options we've been getting, not so great. This is a weird play out here. Magic Mush? Nope. Oh my god. Alright, so our deal chances have already plummeted, but let's be honest, we weren't getting a deal on this floor anyway. Oh my god, I'm getting my ass kicked by normal spiders now. This one will be over before we know it. I'm hemorrhaging hearts. All right, there we go. We got a damage up. I was say, don't tell me this room managed to give us free items that are not going to help me. Because even if I took the rags, I'd be coming back as Lazarus, and I would not get the completion mark for Eve here. And we kind of needed the damage up in the worst way possible. Oh my god. There we go. Hold it off. Who's this gonna do? Oh, that would've killed them, wouldn't it? Frick. Alright, so let's keep moving here. not gotten damage into one of those guys yet. There we go. And you know what? The orbitals here kind of scare me a bit. Just because they're going to come in contact with those, which will have, like, some sort of reaction from a death animation and get me killed. Oh, uh, there's a... Oh, okay. oh. Balls of steel. Balls are key. Didn't really have much of either one of them. Doesn't matter. Hey, we got a key. Not that we we're looking for one of those, but we got one. Bomb's not too bad. Let's go get this knife piece. The knife piece will help us kill things a little bit quicker, because we certainly aren't doing a very good job of it. Who knows what that card could be? Probably the same card every time. I don't know. It's probably like a hangman card to make sure you can get out of the room or something. I don't know. We got our knife, though. Make mom go over here. Oh my god, there's fires now. Alright, let's 
Run. Right, that was close. Sometimes you just get bad positioning here with mom um, when you're walking through a room. Just gotta try, do your best to try to stay calm. That was close. I almost got pinched between the poo and mom. And we're gonna get through this thing. Wow, our stats suck. Now we need to get our way to... Thank you for finding the secret room. Hopefully there's an R key in there, because let's be honest, we need to reset this shit. All right, so that's going to help our deal chance a little bit until we get in the next room and take a hit. Oh, it was nice while we had it. There it is. It is. All right, uh, let's do the boss. Okay, got ran over. Doing very little damage to the boss so far. Not a good boss to have low damage on because you see it's quickly going to escalate into a lot of fun. And this is going to blow up in pattern here. To avoid that. We're just, uh, we're just a couple items away from from really opening this thing wide up, right? Uh, as, as you know, I would say we're just as close as we were when we first started. Pretty sure the game just said, let's give it to this guy. It's unfortunate bastard. Uh, we got the mother transformation, which everybody seems to love. Okay. Obviously. We're in trouble. Settle down. One heart. We can do this. Probably not. Your knife uh, coming in big here. Not the one that's circling us, the other one. Or the butt knife, you know, that's not really doing too much for us either. But it looks cool. Got down to half a heart. It's almost over. Almost over. Hopefully, our heart is sitting here in the sacrifice room. East clubs. Looks like a good room for it. Check out the item room. Loki's horns. I'm baffled. Baffled at the items we have for this run. I don't even know if damage to kill one of these brimstone flies. Ridiculous. But there's gonna be hearts and plenty of stuff in here for us. Oh. Quickly go by this and run it to the item room real quick, because we are not gonna survive a boss fight. Unless we get something. Spectral Tears. Well, hopefully we have plenty of things to hide behind. This is not looking... 
trying to get this side as well, but it was it was a stretch, literally. Uh, was there a heart in here? No. All right. Oh, we got ghosts that are gonna use their telekinesis power to drag things across the room to hit me from behind. Like that, almost. Got me. Look at this damage. Non-existent. Get some angry flies in here. And that's all right. Uh, not as angry as I am, right? There's a heart in the middle of the room here, which we desperately need at this point, because uh, we are going to die. I let this freak out of his rock cavern, which is unfortunate. We Take care of most of this. Get a heart here. Put more card. Pick up a heart. Things are looking better already. I think we got. I think I, I'm gonna say now. We got this in the bag. The win. The win is in, guys. The win is in. Don't need anything else other than. Um, you know, eight inch nails. Who am I kidding? Uh, let's do the boss. It would have been nice if this bard did something more than just create a machine to drain me of some resource. But uh, you know, I've always wanted more practice on this boss. Uh, obviously, I've never done it. I haven't done it very much, especially at this low damage. So let's see how far this goes. Hopefully the bird takes care of most of the workforce here, because I don't know what else to do. Alright, but oh, they ran from the bomb. Alright, we got our damage up. We're gonna get through this now. Alright, we got a real damage up here. A damage up. And uh, we're we're just uh, grasping at nothing here. You know, I'm half tempted to just run into this and kill myself, but uh, the three coins were worth it. There's a heart in this room, which I'll probably have to use that key for. Wish things were dying a little bit quicker with eight damage. Uh, our tears rate is is okay. So I'm still not protected or safe from death here, because I think everything does a full hard damage. No, it doesn't do a full hard damage, right? Oh my god, there well, one more hits. It's over. Guys chase me with a bomb rock. Die, please. Thank you. Gotta deal with this fly. Keep moving along here. This shop is going to be great. This is a damage up technically with Magician with Terracloth. Probably should have grabbed the heart. Who was I kidding? Uh, we still can though, right? 
maybe. How did this thing not die? Alright, so we got plenty of money there. We can go grab this soul heart. Protect the eternal heart that we have going. Maybe we can get another charge off to get a heart on this floor. Obviously, this is going to be a little bit of a scarier boss fight here. Uh, we still need to find the item room, though. We're not getting through this unless we get some help. Head down. Alright, so at least the the squishy brains uh, die quick enough for us. Alright, you you need to drop a heart for us. You do it on all the lower floors. Uh, it's time for you to pay out here. Alright, give us red hearts. We just need to clear one more floor, or one more room, and we'll be... Able to genera generate another heart. Okay. Heal? Nope. Full heart, though. Kind of terrifying. Oh, I forgot I had Spectral. We can use this to our advantage. Let's see what's in the item room. I could use the book to generate a heart. I already technically have a heart generator, though. So I think we gotta... Alright, we can do this. We can do this. Not over. We've made it this far for a reason. And that reason is because, like I said, we are uh, we're getting the win here. The win is the win is happening. Sometimes you just gotta try to stay positive and uh, kill them with kindness, because sometimes the game clearly does not give you enough damage. I'm trying to get another charge on the card. Right now, that's ultimately what I'm doing. We have a bedroom here, which could be really helpful for us. If it's got a crawl space. Still with piss. Awesome. Awesome. Good stuff. So, keep getting some rooms here. Kill them all. So, one charge away from another heart. So, if we kill the boss, we'll be able to use the heart again. Go to bed. All right. So this is turned around a little bit. We should probably try to find the secret room, though. That's what I think. So the cards are good because we have terror. All right, so we're actually going to get a not really going to matter. Wheel of Fortune, which I'll also... Oh, you know what? We could technically pay this thing out in hopes for batteries and stuff. 
Wow, I blew you up. Gave me a sticky nickel. The nickel doesn't matter, though. Because this is the last floor that we would have had a shop with. Alright, let's... Let's go. Was there anything else in the shop here? Magician would give us a damage up. Like I said, because we have Terra Cloth, Magician is actually damage up. So let's let's take Magician. Just trying to keep moving here because of, you know, Stomp Mom likes to go ham. Right, we got another Angel deal, which is really important for us. Uh, we're going to take this because, let's be honest, we could use the damage. Are you kidding me? Let's destroy the flesh door here. This damage is not good. Like, I don't even know what you're supposed to do in this situation other than stand in a spot where you can't do damage. I feel like I'm doing, like, a smaller room version of Hush right now. fire and just so I can move into position when I have time. Already on a roll. Do this. Come on. This isn't gonna get any easier here. Alright, the longest mom's heart fight you're ever gonna see. Thanks to Soda Milk. So, let's head on down to Corpse 1. Could pay that beggar out if we get some red heart drops. We can, we can do this. We have, we have the skill, we have the ability to do it. Um, it's, you know, it comes down to, do we want it? Do we want it? And, um, I've made it this far, so, uh, kind of want it. Look at how this works. If Spectral Tear is put in the work for us. I was gonna say, that guy's gotta be close to dying. Come on, get us something good. Or don't. Oh, that one guy was stuck on a shot I had. Was following me down. Got a little nervous there. Um, just because we have enough bombs to do it, let's check now. I'm I'm really hoping for an R key, man. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you. I am hoping for an R key.
Because as you guys can see, this isn't this isn't gonna get too much better. This point on. I think we get what one more boss item. Sacrifice room. Let's be honest, not enough hearts are going to drop for us to utilize that. Use our spectral tears to our advantage. Any el anyone else would, right? No shame in. Let's do the boss. Trying to get some contact damage in there with the knife. Really hoping the orbital would eat some of this damage for me. Almost there. Almost there. There we go. We're gonna lose. Hopefully, I hope I'm hoping we don't lose this eternal heart. But it looks like that's gonna be what happened. And it happened. I was trying to get some contact damage to the knife, but he spit something out, so. End of that. Oh my god. I'm paying attention. Let's kill the ball sack here, which you would think. You know, a couple nails to the nuts would take care of business for you, but uh, it won't. Are you serious right now? What is... Um, I, I can't jump, so I'm stuck to what the level's going to give me here. Alright, so we're going to need a damage here and then die. Awesome. Awesome. Box of stuff. Couldn't have asked for a better boss item. Watch. This is not going to help me. Alright, so we got to tears up. Make sure we hold on to the heart. Trying to pick up these coins. I mean, we have decent luck. All right, so we got another tears up. I, I don't think I don't think the tears are actually going up. So work like two more rooms, and we'll get another charge on the card. Stars doesn't do anything. Else. Let's... Found a gap and ran right through it. Alright. Uh, there's no sense in trying to do anything else. We'll just be too depressing at this point. Uh, I guess we could do... We could do the beggar, though, right? We could do the beggar. Uh, we have... Few hearts laying around we could do this with. Did I check this side? We had tons of bombs. I might as well look. Alright, so we're gonna have two more hearts. I forgot it gives this is not it takes away whole hearts on this floor. Doesn't do anything for us at this point. Uh, 
Um, no. Can't believe we gotten this far. Let's go get those rotten hearts. Rotten hearts don't have any downside this late into the run, because a full heart's going to come off regardless, so might as well load up on rotten hearts. They're good for you. Super secret, maybe? I would, I would really like to get a card that is going to help us in the other fight. Like another magician card would be huge for us. I'm just checking for super secret at this point. Doesn't look like it's gonna get this one. Probably in like a really weird spot. Okay, I don't want to spend any more bombs. a bunch of bombs out. Grab the stars card and let's pull out of here. Sorry, had to take a breather real quick. So we're going to get a nice amount of flies going. Um, but really the enemies are going to be too tanky to be able to build up enough of them to uh, kind of die to. Possibility. Nope. I was going to say, we could go into the boss challenge room and then use the stars card. All right. Let's leave these here for now. Although I, I think the health can still trigger and proc from Trinket, even if you have 99 coins, so it probably doesn't matter. Uh, to, in the event that I'm able to spend the coins or something on a beggar, I'm gonna leave them there for now. I have 99. Even though I just said I was gonna leave those ones there, Habit made me pick those up. Why couldn't you be a coin beggar? Teleporting here is getting a little annoying. Uh, it's also getting faster, it seems. There we go. You're down. Done. Over. Oh, no, 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 this thing's quickly. I'm gonna spawn a bunch of things before that I don't deal with. All right, so we got another charge. We'll, we'll, we'll use it. Thank God these aren't real brimstone monsters. The flesh shooter monsters. We could do the key beggar in a little bit. We should probably actually do the key beggar before going to the boss, because we're not going to need the keys in the boss room. Really don't want to use too many more bombs. Because the bombs are useful in other fight. I would I wouldn't mind finding in the secret room though. All right. A little late for that. Let's 
It's interesting. That's very interesting. All right. We have hearts to work with. We have hearts to work with. This stars card is not going to do anything for us, so I'm going to drop this just so we can avoid me accidentally using that in the boss fight and wanting to cry after I... All right, well, uh, let's... Give it a go. All right, so we're gonna use uh, item, base bar item now. Got hit, we lost our soul heart. We're just gonna keep doing our best trying to dodge and just keep firing. I think this is somewhat bullshit on how it goes right for you and then leave stuff splashing out of it. Oh no, these spawn stuff? Oh no, this is not good. I've never seen this phase before. Obviously you have to kill these things before they get to Mother, because she chucks them at you. You know, if the dead bird would like to go and start fighting Mom, I, that would be really... This is when I wish I had Spider Mod. Alright, we're gonna use the space bar again. This this thing is a joke. Using bombs here because uh, we need as much damage as we can get. I uh, I beg the differ on that one. Beg the differ on that one as well. Still gonna keep calling bullshit on these. Oh boy. Too much going on. <laughs> oh, God. No way. This run was too much, man. We got Birdcage. Uh, I really thought that this run was going to end multiple times. But... Wow. Guppy's paw bowed us out. Unbelievable. Wild run. But again, I want to thank everybody for supporting the channel up to this point. It means a lot. Uh, as I said, feel free to call things out like the advertisements. Uh, most likely, I'm missing it uh, because, you know, YouTube Studio isn't uh, always functioning at 100%. But uh, I'm going to do my best to make sure that Isaac content keeps coming out the channel. And uh, making sure I'm bringing some other things around. Again, guys, feel free to like, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you all on future runs on the floors down below. Peace.